Hey everyone, it's Julie. And Jeff for Crypto Nightmare. And I got the first playthrough, so we're gonna play one of my favorite games. And I don't care what anyone says, it may Yeah yeah, progressive scam, that would suck my dick. Um this is one of my favorite games, though I originally played it on the Sega Dreamcast. Um, so it's gonna load up, and it's kind of a dead giveaway, plus the title is a dead freaking giveaway, but I like to keep an element of surprise. Plus I just, <clears throat> I just love... I never played the game, the original version on the Dreamcast or this version. Until I loaned it to him. Yep. Because I had a Dreamcast, and it shit the bed. I think my brother had a Dreamcast, but I don't really recall him ever doing much with it. So... Uh, I'm, if I don't sound too interested, I'm, it's mostly because I'm doing some behind the scenes tweaking as we're recording, trying to keep the audio levels balanced well so that the game, the game and our audio commentary are not competing with each other too much. Um, I would like just to also give a huge thank you to Jeff. I'm mostly the swearing person in the gaming. He's all the technical shit, and he's also out of pocket gotten all the technical shit, because everything I've bought is fucked up. Yeah, you. She bought a. She bought a headset that she ordered from China. I it think. was not from China. It was from Amazon. It was Prime. I'm pretty sure it said made in China. Everything's made in fucking China. I bet you twenty bucks this controller is made in China. But we. Yep, suck my dick. Made in China. But that's not an authentic controller, is it? Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I thought that was one of the knockoffs. But we bought. Um, we plugged it in for the capture card software, and we. So I selected the microphone. And we recorded, we just hear, we hear our voices and everything, but we also hear this consistent high-pitched buzz in the background. So Dude, I can hear it from here. There was too much audio feedback, so that's why I went out and I got this tabletop microphone. It's uh, called the Blue Ice Snowball. I'm putting kitty ears on it. <laughs> so I, I really want, I wanted to go with the the Blue Yeti, because that one is uh, was the better model. It's got a much better sound quality, but it's Same also thing. twice the price, so I wasn't able to afford Same it. Um... Uh, and one funny thing, because I feel like we're probably going to reference this during the playthrough, this is actually our second time starting this playthrough. Dude, this is like my hundredth. The, well, the first time that we tried to start this and record it, my computer must have screwed something up, and we, it defaulted to the wrong microphone, but I'm looking right now, it's on the, the blue snowball microphone. But, um, whenever we record something, you probably see it in our previous videos, I, I make a note in the description that we use the, uh, that we used the uh, the laptop mic because we couldn't use the uh, desktop mic for whatever reason, and well, it just sounds bad. It, there's uh, lots of echoing to our voices. It just doesn't sound good. So yeah, it sounds like we're yelling down like a pipe or something. So uh, as soon as I, I noticed that, I was like, "Son of a bitch, we got to redo this now," because I don't want to. I now that I have the microphone, I don't want to keep putting out content and being like, "Oh well." I, the microphone is not the right microphone used, but eh, it's okay. Let's do it anyway. Yeah, that's why I, I want to. To me, this this channel is a hobby. It's just me showing off my skill or lack thereof <laughs> with video games and more so a creative outlet. Because when we're we're doing the the podcast episodes, which we'll be starting to do soon, it's it's going to be us like trying out different ideas that we have, whether whatever we got and. It's just a creative outlet, really, is what it is. But I do want to give a, a little bit of a professionalism to it and try to have some quality and not just have it be like um, just this kid sitting in his room doing something. Well, Even though I'm not really a kid, I'm 28. To be fair, most kids sitting in their room are doing something, but they don't want anyone to know. You're <laughs> on the internet. So, so well, what I'm going to go ahead and let you... I'm well, going to go ahead and let you take the main stage because this is your playthrough. Yep. So I'm going to try and keep my... Um, my commentary to a minimum. Well, I want you to have I'll, 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 I'm sure I'll interject. You can keep it open. We're going to snack on that. You and I both know that. I'm um, sure I'll be butting in and yeah. laughing at you, but... Uh, oh, fuck you. As far, as far as the like, the main commentary goes, it's going to be mainly you showing yeah. off here. So, this lets you play as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles. This is a revamped Amy Rose. She used to have a green t-shirt... Uh, yellow, an orange tutu, and like orange green, uh, orange Converse. And her hair was a different style. She was from Sonic CD, and then was in the comics, but she got revamped, and I think she looks a lot better. This is Big the Cat. So something that I I do want to ask about this game, sure. that knowing that this is a, a remake and it's uh it's listed as the quote unquote DX version. 
Are, is there anything in this that sets it apart, aside from the graphical quality, that sets it apart from the original? Like, are any, maybe some of these extra characters weren't in the original? No, they were all in the original. I think the only thing that really, really got changed is maybe the Chow Garden got a little better. Hmm. But um, what I what I was going to say is, I'm going to do... The whole game takes place over probably a couple of days, and it's all this, these events. It's taking place through whatever character you're playing, so... I'm going to do a run-through of Sonic. And Jeff's gonna do his run through. And I'm gonna do uh, Tails' run through, and Knuckles, and Amy, and Big so, has a special place in my room. That is 102Y now. I'm that is Gamma, and you will find out later on. Okay. But um, Big the Cat has a special place in my heart because I had this sort of Dreamcast, and Dreamcast was at my dad's house, and I got really sick at his house. So I'm sitting in bed with a fever, playing as Big the Cat, going here, fishy, 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 and I met Big the Cat. The voice actor? Yes, yeah. he is. Well, the original voice. Super nice. And he doesn't do the voice anymore because it hurts his throat. But. Kind of like um, Dick McNoney, who does Broly's voice. And, uh. People go to Comic Cons and they still ask him, Dude, can you scream Kakarot? And he's like, No, that kills. That, uh, that's killer on the throat. He's like, That's that why mean, I don't play that character that anymore. Camel. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started now. Well, actually, no. Mark Hamill, uh, about the Joker, I think he did say it's a little rough on the throat, but. The reason he originally had dropped out from playing the Joker was because uh, when Arkham Knight finally came out, he even said this in an interview, he didn't think there was any way they would ever top it. Or not Arkham Knight, Arkham City. He didn't no, think he there was, was any way that they were going to be able to top that. And then he said, um, however long later it was, they come to him with the story idea that they had for Arkham Knight. And he's like, this is good. That was such a mistake, tweeting that I wasn't going to do the voice again. He's and like, then he I did, gotta do this. And then he did the killing joke. Yeah, then the killing joke. Which joke. we saw... <laughs> the first half of the Killing Joke was not that great. The second half that yeah. was drawn from the comics was yeah. actually pretty good. Yeah, we, we really didn't need to see Batman boning back row. That's just me. And that is how they drive in water, right? He wanted, to, he wanted to get into the Bat Cave. That's kind of concerning that she's referred to it as the Bat Cave. <coughs> so does that mean there are bats floating around in there? Spider webs, too. Ah, uh, oh, she's like 18. Jesus fuck. So, um, this is really easy gameplay to me, but like when I played this, oh my god. How, how come these SWAT guys aren't grabbing the rings? They're made of gold, they can sell them. I don't know. Just grab a few <laughs> rings and a... go to a pawn shop, you'll be set for life. I don't know, because there are cameras all over them. So, um, the thing that you guys heard us talking about, where I told, told uh, Jeff to keep something open, I have a big fucking bag of uh, Reese's Pieces. Yeah, that would have been real confusing if they didn't know what you were telling me to keep open. Yeah, um, I wasn't feeling well on Friday, well, a couple of days ago. I had such a bad migraine, I didn't even remember coming home. So I'm not feeling well, and my boyfriend brings me home a pound of Reese's Pieces. Because that, that helps any ailment. But also my boyfriend knows I have a massive sweet tooth. So now you're fighting a brain monster with a throbbing brain that you can see. Oh god, it's still the Futurama. I have a massive brainer. <laughs> um, Jeff and I like a lot of pop culture. How, how exactly do you beat something made of water when it's raining? You, you kick it in its brain, duh! Yeah, but he can regenerate because it's raining and he's made of water. Well, you get kicked in the brain and see how quickly you regenerate. I'm not a mystical monster made of liquid. Well, yeah, that's... It. Come Although on! The human body is, is, is 80% water or something like that. So when people are really salty, when they're being a salty bitch, does that mean they're just, they're like the ocean? <laughs> so we sat here and blathered, and we're going to have to end the episode on, in a few minutes, but Wait, I want to show off just something that they kept in the original was that was so fucking bad. That, like, people just rip on it. But I promise, episode two of the voice I'm, acting? It's gotta be it's, the voice It's acting. not just the voice acting. It's, ah! Uh, thank you for spoilers, you douche. What? I'm like a 10, 16, like 18 year old you game. It's chaos! chaos the, the god of destruction! No, it's Beerus, the god of destruction, you jackass! Well, different universe. After all, Sonic's like Goku, isn't he? And, oh god, and Shadow's it Vegeta. Fuck me. Super Saiyan. Exactly. Oh man, one Wait. of our co-workers, a former co-worker, and I Wait. think I told you about this. Man, it's coming, it's coming. We'll let Jeff get his story out as soon as part happens. Huh? Oh my god. An airplane. 
What? Tails? No, he already knows how to fly. Why is he flying? Here it comes. <laughs> That's so shitty. I just, I can't. I, I, I'm being a basic bitch right now. I can't even. So I'll let Jeff tell a story, and then we're gonna end the very first episode of my Sonic Adventure uh, playthrough as Sonic. So we had a, a coworker that that I used to be friends with, and he was on. Um, he was a Sonic fan, but he's also a big Dragon Ball Z fan like me. And um, so we were talking. And I hadn't known about, I don't think I knew about Super Sonic at the time. How did you not know about Super Sonic? Because I wasn't huge into the Sonic series, aside from the first one. He goes Super Sonic. But, um, anyways, he, he starts t telling me about Super Sonic. I was like, oh, and he showed me a picture of it. I was like, oh, that's such a rip off of Super Saiyan. He's like, no, Super Saiyan came first, or Super Saiyan came after Super Sonic. Nope. I was like, no, it didn't. He's like, no, yeah, it did. I was like... The first Sonic game came out in, what, 1994, I think it was when I looked it up? 93 or 94? In the early 90s. And when I looked it up, I believe it was 1989 when Goku first went Super Saiyan. So Goku's got about five years on Sonic in terms of his super transformation. And I showed this to the guy. He's like, no, you can't. He's like, that, that information is wrong. Sonic did it first. Bullshit. I was like, he did not. Alright, that is the end of episode one for Julie's Sonic run of Sonic DX. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and join our group, our Facebook group, the Society of Gamers. And Jeff and I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.